boys, get up and get loud. It's game day here for the World Championships of Season 4. The Chiefs Esports in the orange, G2 in the blue, a best of five. Best of fives all day today. So with the pass to JNAPS. Looking to make a play early on. Puts it over the top of Torsas and G2 strikes first. An unfortunate bump on the side. Drippe and Jake smashing into each other. Jake would have easily had that ball, but a little miscommunication and a little off on their position. They will bump each other and leave it wide open. JNAPS in a 1v1 situation will not let that slide. Early on, striking here in the first 30 seconds. It's been a trend this season. Players scoring in the first minute. JNAPS off the kickoff, trying to make it 2-0 immediately, but well defended. We will see Chiefs now with an opportunity to break out onto offense. Clear into the corner, met by J-Naps. He's got Rizzo and Kronovi shadowing behind. The ball over the top. Drippe can put this through, and he oh. does so, tying it up in the first minute. Drippe contesting this well, just taking it right off of J-Naps. You saw the faith that Kronovi and Rizzo both had in him, trying to cheat up, pull out of net, but Drippe making sure to stuff that right in Rizzo, leaving him no options. Rizzo had to touch it or he'd have a perfect shot, but it didn't matter. He cut off the options and tied the game only 30 seconds in. Excellent 50-50. Drippe strikes for Chiefs. Corner, Torsos onto the wall, Drippe to follow quickly. Rizzo, not to be outdone this time, lofting it high. Torsos now onto the back wall, and Kronobi to take it away. On alongside the pass inside. Now Torsos on the pass from Drippe. High, Rizzo does not make contact. Jnaps and Kronobi have to play defense. Rizzo comes off the wall, plays it to the corner. Pressure continues here for Chiefs. Just looking at stats alone, G2 need to make sure they bring up this defense. Chiefs have the highest shooting percentage in the world. Torsos, an individual, the highest in the world, nearly 50% just short of that. So they really need to be careful of letting him take those shots. Kenobi with a dangerous loft. Torsos up to try and make contact. He will not be able to drop it into the net. Kenobi picks it up. One for the fake, gets it past Jake and gets the dunk on Drippe all the way to the box, but loses control. Torsas will loft it high, try to buy some time for his team here. Rizzo now looking for the redirect. It doesn't go in. Can the clear come through? There's Torsas to send it away. They'll dodge that second goal. We're watching G2 struggle to get on offense, and they can't get back to defense. Rizzo won't be able to make it in time, and Drippe will put them in the lead. Puts it over the top, and Chiefs take the first lead here. For those EE region, season four, over the top of Rizzo, straight in, 3.30 left to go. We got a ball game. The question coming in, who will carry, Drippe or Torsos? Drippe now two shots and two goals. He's already got 100% shooting percentage, and he's got both the goals for his team. He is starting off strong. Torsos has had a few opportunities, difficult ones, but this is the best of those E region. Here's a little over to the side. Torsos now to follow along. 3.17 left on the clock here in game number one. The one goal lead, Chiefs. Trying to make it two, a shot on net blocked by Jane Apps. Down to midfield from Kronobi, picking it up. Jnaps with the redirect up onto the crossbar, but a good read from Jake sends it away, and Torsos will add some piece to the ball. Drippe following along in the air. Jnaps and Kronobi waiting on the ground. They get the ground pinched, and all the way out of the backboard by himself. Looks to pass it inwards, but Jake intercepts in the corner. Able to play it back in the middle. G2 looking to tie up this ball game as we approach halftime. And we spoke about it before. Jnaps really a hard carry for his team when they need him. They have to make sure not to rely too much on him, though. This is a lot of pressure for him. His first day, his first time on the RLCS stage, so his teammates need to make sure they can help support him and what he can do. Kenobi, you heard them on the desk, undefeated here at LAN. Never dropped a series. That dates back all the way to season one. And when he was able to win it all, see if he can do it again here. One of two players at the World Championship who has the chance to repeat their title. Jnaps over the top, we've crossed halftime, and it's still Chiefs with the one-goal lead. G2 pressuring in the corner now. Kronobi leading the offense in the one roll. Now Rizzo, he'll look for bumps in net. Doesn't find any, but Jnaps in the corner trying to set it up for Kronobi. Drops it back in the middle. Here comes Rizzo, shot towards net is wide, and it'll go away. Morsas out in the one. Vast majority of goals from Chiefs coming on infield passes and bumps. So look for them to get physical in the box. See Jake chasing JNAPS down, just trying to zone him out. He won't make contact. Or else that's a shot. Well defended, sent away. 1.30 left on the clock. Still the one goal lead for Chiefs. Both teams are playing patient, and the stats show it. Only five shots for Chiefs and two for G2. They've only done two shots. One of them went in. They are struggling to a degree, but they don't want to put up useless shots. And here you go, JNAPS slowing it down. Trying to get it to Kronobi, but intercepted well by Jake and sent away. G2 has to fall back on defense. Trippe will look to connect with Jake. Intercepted by Rizzo. Kronobi will back off and allow Rizzo to move up, and Torsas gets there first. 
Now Jamps in the air, meeting with Jake. 50-50, one out and into the box. Drippe he lost it high, but it's not out of danger just yet. Here comes Cronovi, shot upper 90 is wide, and Drippe will add some pace to it. But Rizzo putting it back in. Final minute here of game number one. Jnaps up, takes the shot towards the goal, defended by Torsas. Two defenders up, and they go right back down. They'll hold on to this defensive wall, and they'll get the clear. They're taking good shots, but they weren't stuffing them out of their boost. Chiefs had plenty of boost to deal with that, but now in a counterattack, they might be trying their best to get some more. One more pressure mounting from G2, but that miss from Krenovi opens up the net. The shot is just wide for Torsas and G2 now having to play defense in this final minute. They have to carry this one away if they want to be able to tie it up and send us to overtime. One dunk by Krenovi, Drippe will pick it up in the corner. Midfield pressure. Rizzo held off a little bit there, and that gave space to Drippe and Torsas. 14 seconds remaining, down by one, G2. Inaugural game of season four. Jake's gonna secure it here with another goal. 3-1 Chiefs. Not just a defender, but able to read players even here at midfield. Jake reading that off the wall. Kronovi unable to get it past him. He puts it right in. In a situation like that, to be fair, G2 were just looking to get any kind of offense. They, they just needed to take a shot. 10 seconds left, one goal down. Two or one, it doesn't really matter. You'll lose either way. We'll put that one through in the final 10 seconds here. Unless an immediate kickoff goal happens, it's going to be Chiefs taking game number one. And the best of five, got to do it two more times to drop G2 to the lower bracket. But what a display here by the OCE champions. You'll see the OCE champions opening up with a win in the very first series here in the Season 4 World Championships. Drippe really taking it to his team, only taking two shots on net, and both of them sinking in. G2, it seems like they're struggling to pull it out. They want to be patient. Don't take useless shots on, even though in the previous land we'd seen that OCE kind of struggled on defense, they've clearly turned that around. And just to talk about how tight the OCE side was, mm. there was a four-way tie for first place when they're, or at least as far as records are concerned, at a 5-2 when mm -hmm. their season was over. Right. So everything was tight. Everyone had to play till the bitter end, and you'll see the Chiefs come out on top. G2, an incredible season, 6-1. and one. They only lost once. The only team to beat every other North American team here in league play. So they have the record to show it as well. But again, don't rely too much on JNAPS. He was a big carry for them. They have to be very careful how they move forward. When we talked, uh, we started off the series talking about the defense of G2 and how strong it is here in North mm -hmm. America. We talked about the offense of the OCE region and talking about the offense of Chiefs. We didn't really talk about their defense, but I was impressed by their defense, especially towards the end of that game. We really saw G2 putting on the pressure, and the very first goal goes in. And Torsas, you see the bump over in the corner from Chiefs, and Torsas and Net unable to do anything with JNAPS' touch. It looks like this game is going to be cleanly going to G2's favor, but they immediately bounce back and are able to get the win. And when you think about it, G2's only goal was on that bump mistake. They were unable to outplay the Chiefs, and even when they had a lot of shots, I'd noticed Chiefs still had plenty of boost. They were still able to get to a lot of the saves. So where is that disconnect? Are they not able to actually grab the corner boosts? Are they not getting the bumps they need? I imagine G2 is going to take this game clean, but at the best of five. Chiefs have two more to take it. G2 have all three. Well, game number two, and G2 bounce back. They're dropping game number one. Ball goes into the box and a clear from JNAPS. They can immediately putting it back, an excellent touch. Drop here from Rizzo to JNAPS, looking for the shot. Blocked away by Torsas. There we go. Now Kronovi following along. Pass into the middle. No one there to pick it up. Both these teams characterized a lot by infield passes. If there's a big stylistic difference with their offenses, it's the ability for the clutch plays, the solo plays from G2. And we haven't seen Chiefs rely on as much as we saw last game, very strong players. A good bump by Kronovi, nearly the first goal for G2. There it is, though. You can see they've recognized it. They're struggling to get past defense, so why not just remove it? Oh, and here comes a shot from Drippe. A miss off the backboard gives Chiefs the lead in the first minute. Something they relied on a bit too much last season, but now it seems they know exactly when to do it. Kronovi caught down too low, and Jake saw it. He put it high just above net, forcing Kronovi as a defender to come all the way across as he may have actually made that save had it been on target. So smart on him to hit it just above net, and they'll find themselves in the lead just under a minute in. Drippe put that upper 92 away from the other defenders. It wasn't even close to being well defended, but just in case, it's a nice polish there from Drippe. They take a lead here in game two. Kenobi in towards Rizzo. Redirected to the corner, lofted high. Slow follow from Drippe. 50-50 into the middle. Rizzo now moving up in the one row. Hits the dunk over the top. Kronovi could possibly make the shot. He's got Torsas to deal with. No bolt stay grounded. Now JNAPS in the corner trying to play it over the top of Drippe. Out to midfield. G2 having to retreat onto defense. 
Something Yummy was telling me, they call Jake a robot because nothing faces him. So no matter what happens, no matter how much pressure is on them, you look to see him be as consistent as he can. And G2 right now, they are getting a lot more in control in this game, but they're already a goal down. 317 left to go. Supernova pass one, Trippe moves in. Jam's following, wheel to wheel up on the wall. 50-50, one out by Torsas all the way back. Rizzo has to make a last ditch effort. Play it away. Torsas across the pitch, Jnaps now moving up on the wall. Rizzo just down below him. Fall back on the defense. Any 50-50s being one out here cleanly by Chiefs, which is giving them a significant amount of ball control. Kenobi looked for a shot, Rizzo looked for the zone, but Drippe unfazed, gets the clear, and now a shot on net, puts it through. Chiefs up 2-0. G2 just don't seem to be looking for each other. A lot of their touches don't have many answers. You'll see Jane up there, no one back to him. Even that first touch all the way up on offense towards the net, it was centered, but to who? No one was there for it. Rizzo didn't turn around, so it just gave the Chiefs all the room, all the midfield to play, and a team of this caliber will always take advantage. We're approaching halftime, Chiefs in complete control here in game number two. Jake will look to pass up to Trippe. Backs off, Kronovi gets a clear from the corner. Jnaps following along. He's got Rizzo in the midfield to work with. Looks for the pass over the top of one. He'll look for the redirect over the two. Beautiful play from G2 as they get on the board. Seeing them slow it down several times, it's nice to finally see it pay off. Jnaps baiting Torsos into a situation he couldn't reach, and Rizzo putting it just over that final defender, Drippe, trying to come across. They put themselves only one goal away just past halftime. And an important goal, too. The 3-0 deficit, very difficult to come back from. G2 avoiding that here, and at halftime as well. We got a ball game here in game number two. For zones in net, Rizzo onto the backboard. And the follow along gets it under two, but Drippe sends it away at the goal line. Another shot from Kronovi. This one will go in. The clears come through, and we got a tie game. I think Rizzo going for Drippe here, getting a bump on his way out. Drippe mm. sitting in a good place, but Rizzo getting him just in time, not allowing him to get that nice loft towards the net. And we will see a tie game just over two minutes. Beautiful comeback here by G2. Anyone's ball game. Kick off from G2, over the top of Drippe and onto the backboard. The score three unanswered here. They're looking this one on and off, in off of kickoff. Off it high, Jake's there first over the top of J Naps. He'll be on the back wall with the clear. Rizzo demoed in net, Torsa shot towards goal. It's just Kronovi in the back and he'll make the clear to the side. Shot the top of J Naps, these 50-50s from Chiefs. Being one out consistently right now. A lot of that has to do with pacing as well. They seem to be a little more on top of things. Always about Ooh. half a step ahead, but there we will see a shot almost followed up by Kronovi, but just off target. Just barely wide. Both shots there from G2. That would have given them the lead. They're gonna have to try and push back out again, but Kronovi will have ball control here. Tries to fake out Drippe, but he tackles out right. He knows he's got Torsas behind him, but the pass from Rizzo to Jnap. Shot towards net, and Torsas goes up, gets it away. Kronovi now into the box. Jake demoed in his own backfield. But the clears come through, and he'll have time to respawn and get reset up on defense. I really like what G2 is doing. They're slowing it down to the midfield so that it's forcing Chiefs to have to hesitate, think about their decision, and then they're going for bumps as well. So it's really just choking up whatever they had planned. Rizzo, long shot, double commitment from Chiefs. Put the clear all the way to the corner. They'll space right back out and look for boost. Maybe a soft touch. Open the pass to Jake, but he hangs back, respecting the position of Jane Apps and knowing but the ground clear was coming through. Back up in there, it's Drippe through again. Scored both goals so far in this game for Chiefs. We talked about it at the end of the season, it was Drippe who was the carry for Chiefs. Seems to be trying to do that again here, a demo again on Drippe. Jane have to try and put it in, 20 seconds remaining here, we're tied up. Getting into silver goal territory, you don't score here in regulation, we're gonna go to, go to overtime, Jacob. Jake up on net. Jnaps in, puts it through, and G2's got the lead. The communication from G2 really has solidified. Another bump on net will give them this goal. Jake, he yep. grounded himself. You know how reactionary of a defender he is, but it doesn't matter if he's not grounded and not in net. With 12 seconds left, G2 will find themselves in the lead. I called him Jacob and just realized there are two Jake players here. That won't, that won't be confusing at all later. Eight seconds left, and Chiefs tie it up once again. 
Will the three goal comeback for G2 hold? Drippe with a nice shot up onto the backboard, cleared to the side by Kronobi. Torsas in, puts it up again, but Kronobi again shutting him down, putting it back away. They keep it alive, but they've got a lot of work to do if they want to get this one all the way back. A nice setup from the midfield. Torsas up to loft here. Drippe moving up, and he's got Whoa. Dick to work with, but shut down by JNAPS. G2's defense finally shows up, holds on, and they get the three goal comeback. I really have to give it to them. Their counterattacks are quick and precise. They know exactly who's doing what, who's taking the shot, who's going to try and block who's gonna try and shove out that defender and who follows everything up. So G2 are turning things around, but you can see for the Chiefs, Drippe have four of their five goals so far. So mm -hmm. clearly of the two between him and Torsas, we figured, hey, who is gonna make the carry? It clearly so far has to be Drippe, but his teammates are always there to support. Jake is there, hard on defense, always making sure that they're not smothered too much from the G2, mm -hmm. but it's that counterattack. They don't give him any time to figure out who's going where on defense. G2 is just there on the attack immediately. Yeah, they were able to bounce back here, especially on the offensive side of things. We saw such a discrepancy in the shots last game with mm -hmm. G2 only getting three, Chiefs getting about seven here. Eight to seven between the two. Very, very even game. And it kind of was a first half, second half sort of game. That first goal from Chiefs or from G2 coming in right around just past halftime, and then they scored two more coming back, making a three goal comeback there. And now we have a tie series. And a big thing for me, Chiefs starting off that game in the lead and G2 still able to keep their composure. And mm -hmm. that's a big part of it. Talking about the stat that Kronobi has never really lost at land. Eh, I mean, that was like three seasons ago. It was. It, it, was a, it was a long time ago. So while that is a nifty stat for him to have, this is a lot of weight on him because he's been trying to get back here ever since that win. He has not been back here since he was crowned champion, and this is huge for him. Well, and you know who's, who has won many champions since that time? Chiefs, they yeah. win everything there. And everything that happens in OCE oftentimes is a land. So they have so much experience playing in front of crowds. Maybe not a crowd of this size and of this sort of stature for the RLCS land. But they were here last season. They got that experience under their belt. And now I'm gonna try and take a win here in match number one. We're gonna have to find two more wins. We've tied it up oh. in a game of piece. A drop <laughs> shot from Drip A goes in. They score first again. He really is here to play. Drippe getting as high as he can for this, really taking his time on that calculation, dropping it under JNAPS. JNAPS reacted as fast as he possibly could from the situation that he was in. He had to take that extra half a second to react because he was from the net. It's so much harder to read, but Drippe, just such a solid player. What a beautiful angle, too. Yeah. The scoring in the first minute continues. Common trend here. Driving in the middle, a demolition from Rizzo. Kronobi not in a position to shoot. Oh, it wasn't otherwise open net. He gets it past Jake and now past Torsas. Drippe is up. JNAPS puts it high. Torsas will be here with the ball, but Rizzo able to get it over the top of him. You can see how effective that demolition was. Even if it didn't immediately result in a shot, it still forced the Chiefs to try and recalibrate. Where are we all? Who are, who are we covering? What angles do we have? Rizzo nearly able to find Torsas here. And two oh. players, a beautiful setup by JNAPS. Kronobi ties the game. They're really trying to suffocate Chiefs right now. You can see them just following up every single clear, every touch. Torsas, a bit weak. He would have liked to push that to the corner because it cuts off so many more angles for your opponents to either pass and or shoot. He dropped it kind of in that awful death zone, right in the box, and G2 were able to follow up and keep this game tied. Second time we've seen a little bit of positioning errors from Chiefs and Jake! Though to drop it down, the double tap puts it through, and Chiefs is back in the lead. Watch how fast he changes his trajectory. The moment it hits the ceiling, he turns straight down, Follows it all the way across the backboard. Rizzo, just a deer in the headlights. There is no saving that, and they will find themselves in the lead again. Yeah, he's the defender for sure. Look at that play. All by himself. Now G2 back at a deficit. Very different games. Between games two and three. G2 will look to tie it up. They've got a lot more time to work with than, last, than in game number one. Kronobi driving a nice soft shot underneath one. Forsas and Drippe able to tag team the defensive situation. Jake gets bumped in the corner here, and this one still working its way into the box. Jams with the tackle, Rizzo with the shot. Drippe gets the shot off his own crossbar, gets it away. Kronobi puts it up, but Drippe again to save it. And Chiefs defense holding on as G2 doing everything they can to tie up this game. They want to keep the pressure on. The clock is ticking. You can suck the boost out of them if you can keep this up. But right now, two of three OCE players have nearly full boost. So it's gonna be tough for G2 to keep this up without threatening their own net. Yeah, for the effective siege, you gotta get the boost star going as well. Chiefs have been able to keep their tanks full. Ball crosses midfield line. Chiefs will be looking to play some offense. The horse on the drip opens up some space. It's just Jake in the back right now. Rizzo moving up, being patient. Tackle comes through as Drippe spawned in behind. Shot from Kronobi, defended by Torsas. 
Everybody getting involved on the Chiefs defense. Trying to hold on to this lead, take the lead back in the series. Rizzo up alongside Jake, drops it soft, but right onto the hood of Torsas, and he'll play it away. G2 really has absolute control. Eight shots for them and only two for Chiefs. Ooh. They've really turned it around since this series has started. Using the ceiling effectively. Jake now up to try and put it back into the blue. Right here at halftime, still the 2-1 lead for Chiefs. The long shot starting to be coming through. A bit more drip with another one. Kronovi with the save. Can he get it out? Jnaps helps him out as the ball nearly was in. We'll stay at 2-1. That was huge for them to be two goals down. It's so much harder for teams to try and bounce back from. And now with their counterattack capabilities, they may be able to tie this up shortly. So much shooting happening from this midfield from outside the box from Chiefs. Forcing G2 to change up their defensive positioning. Kronovi now up on the wall in the orange corner. Looking to drop it into the box, cleared by Torsas, and Jake's right there just to immediately transition it out. Jams gets a pass towards Rizzo. He's going to go up and follow it himself, but it goes into the corner. Torsas intercepts. Kronovi now on the ceiling. He could drop this one by himself if he does it right, but Jake has the read, says, nope, get that one away. The offense continuing here for G2. But so far, the, nothing that the Chiefs defense can't handle. A shot from Jnaps, power shot upper corner. Drippe clears it away. It was wide anyways, but he's able to add the pace to the corner. And now Jake looking to transition back out with some help from Torsos. G2, just a few shots being a tad bit off target have really made them suffer a bit. I think this game could have been tied, had a couple more shots, been closer to the net, and a bit more threatened. Torsos nearly putting that one in the back of the net. You saw Rizzo prowling on the back wall. He knew he had to make the play, and he does so. They really need, with how much time is left in this game, that one goal difference is very important. If it gets up to two, the game's going to be all but over for G2. They need all the time they can get. They need to be playing the zero second time. The shot from Rizzo blocked by Drippe and straight onto the hood of Jake. Then sends it across the field. You mentioned it, Wave. Chiefs contest game right now. Their 50-50s are amazing. They have won so many of them, which really just lets them stop G2 from pushing onto them. Jnaps looking for Rizzo. Ball back and look at this clear from Drippe the entire length of the field. To the left, that would have been a goal. Drippe with another shot. This one cleared by Rizzo. Final 30 seconds of game number three. Winner of this game takes match point. There's one win away from moving on in the upper bracket. Kronovi with a clear. Jane Apps to look to add some pace. He's got two players to deal with here. Look for the pass from Rizzo. Over the top of Jake. Kronovi lurking in midfield as Torsas puts it to the corner. Final 10 seconds, G2. Still down by one. Creative back pass from Rizzo. Jams with the follow shot towards net. Can Torsas get there? Can they get the finish? Oh! It's cleared to the side by Drippe. It was a bit high. They could still do this as they wrap it around. Kronovi in the midfield could possibly make the shot, but he's not there, and Chiefs will take the lead. Ladies and gentlemen, the number one OCE team is one game away from taking G2 and putting them into the lower bracket. Immediately starting off in this tournament, we can see the Chiefs really having a lot of control. G2 are noticing it though. Once they spread out too far, they're noticing the Chiefs are always in the way. And every time you watch G2 try, they think to themselves, hey, let's finally get it onto offense. The moment that happens, they have to turn right back around onto defense. So what do they do? They started shortening up, making their passes a bit closer to pull out that one Chief defender. Can I make it a 3v2? You do that a couple more times, and obviously, you're going to have a slightly better situation when you have a 3v1 or 2v1. G2 recognized that towards the very end of the game, so I'd like to see them pull that out. Shorter passes, pull out the defenders. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the Chiefs have figured it out since last season. They know how to defend, and Jake being so reactionary, always there clutch for his team, but it doesn't matter because his teammates are there with him too. Well, and the way that the goals went in here in game number three, it felt very similar to game number one, but mm -hmm. very different ball control here as we saw. Chiefs have twice as many shots as G2 in game number one, then they had even shots in game number two, and now here, G2 with 11 to the six, or the five from Chiefs, actually coming out with about half, or about twice as many as Chiefs, so still very, very different games here between these two teams, yet Chiefs able to find it twice, and don't forget, last land, this was how things started off too. Chiefs dropping denial in the first match yep. of day number one. They could do it to G2 here. How credible would a start would that be? Those OCE region. This is do or die for G2 at this point. If they do not take this win, they will be pushed to the lower bracket in the first series of the day. Game four. G2's been trying for three seasons to get back to this stage. You do not want to start off with a loss. Initial kickoff. Remaining mostly neutral here. Jake to put it up. He did it. He got a double tap last game. Won't happen this time. 
Arizona Cronovi. Slow ball play, 50-50 from Jake. JNAPS had gotten just a little bit more air. The ball could have just rolled in. Torsas' shot is just wide. And that crazy shooting percentage we saw from Torsas during the regular season, not really showing up here just yet, but Jake and Drippe have been making up for it in every single way. And they, as a unit, have been playing so well. The play styles seem to be a little bit of flip-flop. Usually we've seen Chiefs going for a lot more bumps and demolitions, but now we see G2 doing that. Generally, they had a strong defense and had good counterattacks, but we see not as strong of a defense here as the Chiefs seem to be in control and often amount, but G2, a lot of those creative demolitions, which I think is opening up space for them. Drippe tried to drop it out of his box. Jnaps puts it right back in. It's a demolition on a Jake. Jnaps' last two pushes on the offense were win his touch and then look for a defender. Working out right now as G2's been able to hold on to the offense. First time this series, we won't see a goal scored in the first minute. Touch from Jnaps to the side, picked up by Jake, put into the corner, Kronovi, pinch it high. Jnaps out of the corner, it's past Torsos, just two in the back here. Kronovi looking at the slow play, underneath one, Jake patiently waited. He'll just be able to move out, as Kronovi lost ball control. Now going for the patient plays himself, Rizzo. Winning the touch and putting it up, but Torsas with the read now into the corner. And this first goal could be critical. Torsas looking for the zone on Kronovi. Drippe the pass towards Jake, but the clear comes through from Kronovi. Okay, that one right back up on the offense here for G2. It feels that G2 are a little bit timid, but here Kronovi potentially getting a pop up, but no third there to follow. A little bit timid to really dedicate to the offensive attempt. Oh, Drippe to Torsas, and then Drippe again. Jake moved up as well, but he's not able to push the ball forward. Just lofts it, which buys time for Torsas and Drippe to fall back, pick up boost, and have a clean defensive positioning. But a good setup from Chiefs. Go unused. Jake back down to the box. Jnaps picks this one up. He's got Torne, Torsas chasing him, and then pass Drippe into the corner. Over will be the top of one. They are carry intercepted by Rizzo. If you get a second touch here, doesn't make it. Forsyth gets clear outwards, but Jay Naps down and under. Drippe got zoned out hard by Rizzo, who gets the assist here, and G2's got the lead. There it is again, the communication. Rizzo knowing he had the bump. Jay Naps, his only goal, just put it anywhere on target. Doesn't matter how slow, how fast, just get it into net. Rizzo will take care of the rest, doing the heavy duty work, pushing out the defender, and they'll find themselves in the lead. Critical goal for G2 here in game four on match point. Lead critically important right now. Jnaps off the pass from Rizzo, tries to drop it underneath. Cronovi's there, but it's just a bit high. Can Rizzo finish it off? No, Torsas puts the Dominus in the way. Jake will try and get there, but doesn't have it. The fake comes through, and Cronovi makes it 2-0. I need to know if Rizzo did this on purpose. Another bump in net. Rizzo just trying to, I think he was just going for net, but he manages to slam Jake out. He actually had a trajectory onto that ball. G2, everyone in the box, all three of them really going hard for that, knowing they had control. Two goals up for G2. Utterly beautiful play. Still innovating in the bump game here at the land. That'll be up on the wall at 150-50. Important for G2. Be winning those touches if they want to see game five. Right now, Chiefs trying to put it away in four. And Torsat's doing work to move this ball down the field. Got it lofted. Jake into the corner. He'll find the angle and Drippe a shot, upper 90, beautiful placement and just the setup all the way down the wall by Chiefs makes the one goal game. Drippe is trying to take Torsos' record on just yeah. being unbelievably accurate. Another one shot and one goal. That's his first registered shot of the game. He took his time for it, put it directly under the crossbar, out of the way of all of the G2 defenders that were right in front of him. Now only a one goal game for them looks a lot more possible. We'll see if they can make the comeback G2 did in game number two. I mean, three goals straight. Rizzo's underneath Kronovi, Rizzo up on the wall. Strong backboard play from, from Rizzo all series. Jake puts his high, just lofts it past JNAPS. Rizzo up early, he gets past one, but straight onto the hood of Drippe. And now the pinch to the far corner. Jake back down, JNAPS over one. Here we go for the slow play, Drippe, excellent read. Reading the flick. Jnaps is there, and he gets past Torsas. This one's going to roll to the corner, final minute. And burning time off the clock, favoring G2 right now as they hold on to this lead. Jake trying to pull out one more defender. You'll look to see Rizzo, at this point, probably just sitting on that back line. No point in dedicating to anything. You're one goal up, under a minute. Rizzo tends to be their hard defender. He'll probably be staying back for the rest of this game. Kenobi hanging in net right now. 
Go up first. It's a fast drip, eh? Following along. Hoping to pick it up off Jake and then look for the bump. He's not going to find it. Jake and Drippe look for the pitch. Shot going wide. Three man back for G2. Jams is trying to play it around Drippe. Rizzo has to make this touch, but Orzov oh. is there for Drippe. Comes through as well, but oh. just a bit high in what would have been a tying goal. And now Jnaps, he'll just carry this one along all by himself, trying to burn as much time off the clock as he can. He needs the clock to hit zero to see game five. The Torsas in the corner. He got the setup on their first goal. Can he get it again? Drippe out to Jake. The shot is sucked down by Rizzo. Grenovi to push it across that midfield line. And he'll keep that ball on the ground.